doesn't it? Hey, Santelli. Yes. Um, a lot of articles today about these tea parties. They all have your name in them, uh, like, like you caused it. Are you actually attending any, or you just uh, sort of um, got the idea going initially? What do you think? I mean, you're like a cultural phenomenon at this well, point. I don't know about cultural phenomenon, but I'll tell you what. I, I think that tea bar this tea party phenomenon is steeped in American culture and steeped in American uh, notion to get involved with what's going on with our government. I haven't organized. I'm going to have to work to pay my taxes, so I'm not going to be able to get away today. <laughs> but, yeah. but I have to tell you, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this. I think uh, from a grassroots standpoint, and I'm sure some of the media out there is not going to peg it that way, but isn't it about as American as it gets for people to roll their strollers and make their signs and go voice their opinion about the direction of the country? Good, bad, or indifferent, that's a great thing. And there's not a lot of countries, uh, of course, uh, that, that afford their people uh, that, that type of right. It's a great thing. Mm. Just be careful. You may have some, uh, you know, self-righteous type go off on a populist rant about your populist rant. Well, you know, populist rant, mobs, pitchforks, that's the vocabulary that I'm certainly not using, but I'm sure it'll be out there nonetheless. <laughs> hey, Rick, thank you, and happy tax day. Happy tax day. All right. That's Rick Santelli. Steve, thank you very much. Bernie Marcus is going to be here.